Open Start. Search for Disk Management and click the top result to launch the experience. Click the Create VHD option. Under Virtual Hard Disk Format, select the VHDX option. While using a VHDX format is recommended, you can also select the VHD format, but use it only if required. Under Virtual Hard Disk Type, select the Dynamic Expanding option. If you have selected the VHD format in the previous step, it's recommended to select the Fixed Size option when selecting a type. Under Virtual Hard Disk Size, specify the size of the drive in MB, GB, or TB. In the file name field enter a name for the drive. Use the save as type file drop down menu and select virtual disk files. VHDX. Or select virtual disk files. VHD if you're planning to create a VHD file. Click the save button. Click OK. Once you complete these steps, you'll have created a VHD that you can then set up and use with any compatible version of Windows. Using the above steps, you created a VHD, but it's empty without any data or file system. To make it useful, you need to initialize the disk, create a partition, and format the drive using these steps. Right-click the newly created drive button on the far left side, and click the Initialize Disk option. Select the disk from the list. Check the MBR Master Boot Record option. You could also select the GPT Git Partition Table option, but this option isn't supported by all versions of Windows. Click OK. Right-click the unallocated space, and select the new Simple Volume option. Click Next. Specify the size of the partition. Leave this option unchanged if you're planning to use all the available space for the partition. Click Next. Using the drop-down menu, select the drive letter you want to assign to the drive. Click Next. Under the Format this volume with the following settings section, make sure to use the following options. File System, NTFS. Click Next and Finish. After completing these steps, the VHDX or VHD will be initialized, partitioned, and formatted. The VHD will mount automatically and you can now access and save files using File Explorer. If you want to stay updated with technology, if you are interested in PC tricks, PC problem solutions, software reviews, Windows-related problems then please you can subscribe to our channel.